Okay, so if you're like me and you're some kind of researcher or grad student, uh, then you're thinking about these Halloween parties that are coming up soon and maybe thinking about how you don't really have time to go to one, but you want to go to it anyway because, you know, they have these signs that say Happy, Happy Halloween and like flying bats and pumpkins and flying witches and people in costumes and all those cool things and and whatever. Uh, but of course, you know, you really like your work and you're thinking, yeah, that'd be cool if I could dress up as my work. I could, I'd, I could like, you know, go to the party and it'd be awesome and whatever but uh you're not really sure how to do that because your thesis is complicated and you think about these other researchers you know like zoologists and uh and you know they're really lucky because they can wear these this ears and a tail and and there they have a co halloween costume or you know if you're a historian you can just put a broom on your head and you can be a, a centurion which is pretty awesome you know even if you're a physicist like if you're a physicist you can just you know dress up as some sort of rocket ship or something and you know there's your halloween costume and everybody loves it but you know if you're me then you're somewhere between computer scientists and mathematician and you don't really know what to do like you know do you dress up as a chalkboard or something you know people will laugh at you and it won't be just that much fun okay so you're sitting there in front of your chalkboard and you're thinking about this and um all of a sudden you get a great idea you could dress up as zeros and ones okay well not exactly just plain zeros and ones but you know some sort of combination of zeros and ones. I'm specifically talking about, you know, like combinations of three ones and three zeros. Okay, but not just regular combinations. So you're probably thinking that we're just talking about regular combinations of ones and zeros. No, we're talking Coolex combinations. That refers to a special ordering. Basically, we take the these occurrences of zero, one, one, or zero, one, zero in the string, and take everything to the left of that and shift it one to the right, and then take that one, that last one or zero, and put it to the left. So here's 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, and there isn't one of those. So we're going to take that last 0 and put it all the way to the left, and we're going to take everything else and shift it to the right. Now we find that 0, 1, 1, and we're going to take that last 1 and shift that to the left, and then put the 0, 1 to the right. And then we're going to look for that again. So we find a 0, 1, 1, and the next one we find a 0, 1, 0, and then the next one we're going to find a 0, 1, 1, and so on. And each time I'm going to take the last 1 or the last 0 in that box and put it all the way over to the left, and put everything that was to the left of it, shift that one to the right. So this is like, you know, cutting edge, re edge, edge research that was done by uh, this guy that I know, Aaron Williams, and his PhD advisor, who's also my PhD advisor, Frank Rusky. But by this time, you're probably thinking, how are you going to make a costume out of that? Are you going to like, you know, wear it or something, write them all over yourself, cover yourself in ones and zeros? No, not exactly. Basically, if you know anything about these ones and zeros, then you probably know this guy, Dennis Ritchie, who died this year. He's like this really important computer scientist who invented the C programming language. I hope he forgives me for misspelling his name. You also probably also know about Arduino. It's this microcontroller, mini, little tiny computer. And so let's just take a string of LEDs. These are little lights. And let's say that bright lights are ones and, the, you know, darkened lights are zeros. And then we can, we can apply a musical note to each one of those. And so, you know, we'll start on a C and C, and we'll just do the C major scale. So we're going to hook up a little speaker to our Arduino and some lights. And uh, basically, we end up with this. Okay, so, <laughs> great. Now you're at the Halloween party and you have your Arduino around your waist and your uh, LED lights, you're wearing them, they're all over you and they're like making all these cool sounds, but... Um, someone might point out, however, that you look and sound like a singing Christmas tree, but, you know, everybody loves those too, right? Right? <laughs>